Hey, you. Yes, you. Isn't there something you're supposed to be doing right now? I knew it. You're avoiding writing something. Well, put away the vacuum, turn off the television, and consider what I have to say. Hi, I'm Mason from The Owl, and today we discuss an important problem that even the best writers face, writing when they don't want to write. This video will focus specifically on tips to help motivate you before you even start writing. First, you should consider the environment that you are trying to write in. Is it too loud? Are there people there that might distract you? Is it windy? Consider going somewhere else. You want to give yourself the fewest possible distractions and fewest possible excuses not to write. Personally, I write best in my apartment while wearing my lucky slippers. There I can focus on my work and have access to all my sources that I might need. However, you're not just limited to changing location. For example, you might want to think about the technology you're using. If you always watch movies and browse social media on your tablet, try switching to your laptop or vice versa. You can also consider cutting out unproductive activities by turning off your Wi-Fi or using an app to block access to distracting websites or applications. I always do this because, for me, even an innocent trip to YouTube can turn into an hour-long music video binge. It's important to remember, of course, that everyone works best under different circumstances. Be willing to experiment to find a setup that works best for you. Now, let's focus on ways we can change our perception of the assignment itself. First, ask yourself honestly, does my topic seem boring? A boring topic can take a difficult writing task and make it much, much harder. Consider writing about a different topic if you can, or try to approach the same topic from a new angle that piques your interest. To illustrate, once I was asked to write an essay on Korean pop culture in America, specifically K-pop music. Not being a fan of pop music, I didn't initially care for this assignment much, so I procrastinated by binging my favorite anime series when I was suddenly struck by inspiration. I asked my instructor if it was okay to write my essay on Japanese pop culture rather than Korean pop culture, and she agreed. Suddenly, my research for that assignment involved watching tons of anime episodes, which was awesome. Teachers are often more flexible on assignment topics than you might realize, especially if your topic is closely related and you are passionate about it. It is also possible that a lack of understanding about the prompt itself is blocking you from starting. Consider reviewing your assignment sheet, examining some examples, or even contacting someone like your instructor or a colleague to clarify what you are supposed to be writing about. As a graduate student, the papers that I write are regularly over 20 pages long. Because of this, I almost always visit my professors during office hours or at least pitch my essay ideas to them informally after class. Even a short discussion can help me understand what I need to do better and make me more confident that I'm heading in the right direction. We're out of time for today. In the next video, we will discuss ways to motivate yourself to write after you've sorted out your environment, tools, and assignment. In the meantime, what are you waiting for? You've probably got some writing that you need to do. Good luck with your assignment and thanks for watching the video.